Hey students, this is your hints video for lesson 6.3 on linear functions. So this first problem that we have asks us to describe uh, the relationship between y and x, right, a function that relates y to x, and then also to define what y and x are. So here we see that each value of y is equal to pi times x, so that's gonna go right here in your equation. And we can kind of see here from the picture that x is actually the diameter. Oops, I turned my pen off, let me fix that. Okay, x is the diameter, and that means that y is the circumference, because we know that circumference equals pi d. And then our last part of this problem is to figure out which of these lines, which of these graphs represents the function. So we know that um, pi is about 3.14, but this first one looks like it's y equals 3x. So that's close, but not quite. Um, the second one, it looks like we're going up by pi. So this is y equals pi x, which is what we're looking for. All right, next, number five. Um, use the graph to write a, linear, fun a linear function that relates y to x. This should look really familiar since we've done so much with linear equations. We have a y-intercept of two. We have a slope of, let's see, four over three. So we have y equals 4 thirds x plus 2. All right, we also have some problems where we write a linear function from a table. We've done this before too. Um, here we want to look at, let's see, every time x is increasing by 1, we have y increasing by 2. And we have this point zero zero. So our line will be y equals 2x. We can also just double check that all of the y values we have are two times whatever the x value is. All right, next is number 12. It's talking about this bunny hop. It's a bike trick in which the rider brings both tires off the ground without using a ramp. It sounds hard. And the table shows the height y in inches of a bunny hop on a bike that weighs x pounds. So it looks like generally the heavier the bike, the uh, less tall the hop is, which makes sense. So first we need to figure out um, the linear function that relates the height uh, to the weight of the bike. So as we're looking here at our data points, we're seeing that as x is increasing by 2, y is decreasing by, looks like 0 0.4. Okay, so our slope here is negative 0 0.4 over 2, or negative 0 0.2. Okay, so that's our slope. We need to figure out um, what the uh, y-intercept would be. So I don't know that I want to extend this table all the way back to zero. That would be a lot of work in this case. So if I think about this as a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, and I know what my slope is, 0 0.2, I can use one of the points given. I'll use uh, this one that I just circled here. So 9.4 equals negative 0.2 times 23 plus b. Let me simplify that. 23 times point negative 0 0.2. Okay, calculator issue there. So I have 9.4 equals negative 4.6 plus b. I'll add 4.6 to each side, and I get 14 equals b. So my equation here is y equals negative 0.2x plus 14. So that's going to be my equation up here. 
And then I can graph it. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 14. And let's see, if my slope is negative 0.2x, that's like negative 0.2 over one. And if I wanna see how long does it take, uh, how much weight would it take to go down one whole inch, I'm really multiplying by five. So that means after five pounds, I'm gonna go down one inch. So which works out pretty nicely on this particular graph that they gave us. It looks like the slope is negative one, but it's actually uh, negative 0 0.2. Okay, and then last, I'm gonna use this equation to figure out uh, the height, y equals negative 0 0.2 times 21.5 plus 14. So you can simplify that and that's gonna be the height um, that the bunny hop goes if the bike weighs 21.5 pounds. All right, and then the last one I'm gonna do here, it's you and a friend are racing each other. You give your friend a 50 foot head start. The distance in feet that your friend runs after X seconds is represented by this linear function, y equals 14x plus 50. The table shows ye, the distance you run. Remember, you do not get that head start. So who runs at a faster rate? Well, your friend runs at 14 feet per second. We can tell that from the slope. For you, let's see, um, every time the x increases by two, the y is increasing, let's see, 76 minus 38 by 38. So our slope is 38 over two or 19. So you're running at 19 feet per second. So who's running faster? You are. Okay, and the rate is 19 feet per second. Write a linear function that relates your distance um, to the number of seconds. Well, if the slope is 19 feet per second and we know that you did not get a head start, we just have y equals 19x. So um, we're gonna go ahead and graph on the same coordinate plane the functions for you and your friend. And I'm gonna do u first, y equals 19x. And I can see that it doesn't go up by 19s. It looks like it goes up by, I think five is five, 10, 15, 20. Okay, so it goes up by fives. So that means I want um, to use an x that if I multiply by 19, my y will be a multiple of five. So I'm gonna use five. So when x is five, my y will be 19 times five, which is 95, which I can put on this graph right about there. And the origin is another point, so I'll connect those and that makes the line for you. Now for your friend, let me use a different color for the friend. Um, we're graphing y equals 14x plus 50. So I'm gonna put my 50 on here and then um, again I'm gonna figure out what is the y when x is 5 because I know that'll be a multiple of 5 then so 14 times 5 is 70 plus the 50 is 120 so 5 and 120 is a point and we can see that line right there Okay, so for what distances will you win the race? So I didn't quite connect these here, although if you did this on um, Big Ideas, it probably will connect and you can see when it is that you catch up with your friend. Um, so I think you should be able to fill out this last part on your own once you get that graph made.